Okay, I've now completed knitting my thumb attachment to my glitten. And something I want to explain really quick about the pattern that I noticed after I got started off the last video is <clears throat> when we picked up the stitches, we actually picked them up from here. And I picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up, picked up, working in that color sequence. And then went back and on the other side, the side that had the yarn ran through, remember? That one is this side. So when you, if you're doing like me and kind of, I put my little stickies on there, I was kind of off because I started here and then I go back, and then I start here and then I go back. So it, what you might want to do is just actually cut these out and paste them in the reverse order. Anyway, just in case you wondered, I did notice that. Okay, I think you can figure out how to fix that. All right. Me, I just, I finally figured it out. Wow, I'm like, why am I looking off here? Anyway. All right, and I went ahead and trimmed my brown yarn. See how my, my, my um, contrasting colors are on each of my DPNs. And I did have four before, and I reduced it down to two. Um, I'm probably going to wind up doing the Kitchener stitch on here, but I thought I would demonstrate how to draw the yarn through the remaining stitches because if by chance you've never done it before, you may not really know how. So what the heck, we'll go ahead and go over that. Um, and if I like it, I'll just keep it that way. Okay, so I trimmed down my brown because it's already it's already all woven in here, and I see it sticking up. So I have an ink pen here. I'm just going to take it and kind of give it a little plunge down in there. It's still sticking up. So I don't want to stick up through the top. Okay. Um, so what you do is um, you're going to basically just run run your darning needle through all of the loops in the order in which you would normally knit. So first thing I'm going to do is put the yarn on the needle, which the easy way to do that is to put the yarn over over the needle and pull it tight, and then while holding it, see how we got like a nice little thing there? Then you can just sort of cram it in there like that, because otherwise you're never going to get that loose end to go in. Okay. Then all you do is, like I said, working the order in which you were knitting, insert your darning needle into the loops. Now you can either insert it and pull it off and pull it through, or you can just run it through several at a time. Several at a time is faster, but you have to watch that you don't splice whoops, your loops. Okay? And of course I just pulled that off my needle. That wasn't smart. Okay, put it back on. All right, and then keep going. Now, some people I've actually read where it's like, oh yeah, I always go through twice. So I guess if you go through twice, you can either just not. I suppose the best way to do it would be just to leave the DPNs on there. I don't know why I keep pulling that off. And I now have secured all of my loops. And if you want to go through again, you go through again, and then you just pull it tight. Yeah, I kind of like that look. I'm going to leave it like that. Pull it tight, and then take this, and just like we did for the top of the mitten after the Kitchener stitch, just poke it down in there and weave it through on the underside. Um, then the next thing that's going to be worth on is... Um, opening of the mitten. So, stay tuned or come back. 